So I want to ask you, sir, as a preacher of the Bible, what was the reason or the point or the truth that you found in Islam that led to your conversion as a strong Christian and preacher of the Bible? That's a beautiful question. Listen to this. I'm going to give you a translation of, of scripture. God is not a man and God is not the son of man. Is this in the Quran? Is it in the Quran? Yes. But I didn't quote it from the Quran. I quoted it from the Bible. That's in the book of Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. God is not a man that he should sin and God is not the son of man that he'll repent. And when I read that I said, now wait a minute. If it says here that God is not a son of man, then how is it in the New Testament it's saying Jesus is son of man, how could he be a God? I took it to one of my preacher friends and I said, hey, look at this. What do you say about this? You know what he said? He said, that's a big S, son of man. The other one's a little S, son of man. Now, I think, I think you already know, as most of the audience knows, there's no such thing as upper and lower case letters in Aramaic, Hebrew, or Arabic. It means they lied again. And then another subject, another subject, saying Islam spread by the sword. Islam spread by the sword. I heard so many preachers telling me, get away from these Muslims. Islam spread by the sword. 604 pages, 114 chapters, 6,666 verses. Depending on how you count them up, guess what? And many words in Arabic for sword. Safe, Muhammad, Hussam, the, I think 16 words for sword. Guess how many times I found the, any of those words in the Arabic? Zero. Not once. In the Bible? Just the word sword. Over 200 times.